Did you know that scientists believe we are going through our sixth mass extinction? But what is causing it, and how can we slow it down? everyone, my name's Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari, and today you are going to learn about factors of extinction. Current extinction rates are greater than some previous mass extinction events. Unfortunately, this faster rate doesn't allow animals to evolve or adapt to the changes. The International Union for Conservation of Nature have a red list which is the list to reference for endangered and threatened organisms. It classifies thousands of organisms, from an area of least concern all the way to extinct. This list is a great indicator of the health of the world's biodiversity. According to them, over 35,000 organisms are threatened with extinction. But what factors are causing wildlife extinction? Unfortunately, humans are on top of that list. Human activity, both directly and indirectly, is the number one factor pushing wildlife to extinction. One of these causes is pollution. Pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment. Noise, water, and air pollution are some of the most common types. The burning of fossil fuels releases extra CO2 into the atmosphere, causing the greenhouse effect. This, in turn, keeps extra heat in the atmosphere, known as global warming. These seemingly small changes have a large effect on the planet and those who live in it. Other causes of extinction relate specifically to animals and their habitats. Poaching is a common problem and has gotten much attention in recent years. Poaching is the illegal hunting, capturing, or taking of wildlife. Many poachers will profit from the killing or capturing of animals to sell them around the world. Some cultures believe that parts of unique animals have religious or medicinal value. Elephants are the largest land animal on Earth, yet they are one of the most threatened. Elephants are poached for their ivory tusks, which have a high value on the black market. An estimated 100 elephants are killed daily by poachers, and some believe elephants could be extinct in the next 20 years. The good news is there are conservationists working on the recovery of this iconic species. Overhunting and habitat loss also have a large effect on species Many antelope species are severely endangered. In 2000, the scimitar horned oryx became classified as extinct in the wild. These animals were no longer free roaming in their natural African habitat. They could only be found under the care of man, such as here at Six Flags Great Adventure. However, in 2016, with the help of multiple conservation organizations, a successful reintroduction plan has been established, and these species are beginning to be reintroduced in the African landscape. There are times when extinction can be caused by other animals. Sometimes non-native species are introduced into a new habitat. When this happens, they are known as invasive species. Often, these new species will thrive while depleting the natural resources of other native species. Samson here is a black and white tegu. These lizards are native to South America. However, Samson was actually caught from the wild in Florida. So how did this happen? Unfortunately, Samson's species was introduced by humans in areas of Florida. They started taking over and are now considered an invasive species to the United States. They are taking resources from other animals such as native alligators and tortoises. Despite efforts from groups to catch and rehome these animals, tegus have expanded their range to Georgia and South Carolina. 
government agencies work hard to try to prevent invasive species from occurring. The popularity of having animals as pets has also caused a decline in some populations. Everyone meet Annie. Annie is a lesser sulfur-crested cockatoo. Once prolific in areas of Australia and Southeast Asia, they are now critically endangered, with less than 2,500 individuals in the wild. Unfortunately, their stark decline is due to their increased popularity as pets. The pet trade has caused a severe decline in many wild bird populations. The U.S. Wild Bird Act forbids the commercial import of many endangered or threatened birds. At Six Flags Great Adventure, many of our birds were donated by families who could no longer take care of them. There is a lot that goes into caring for these amazing animals. Do your research before getting any animal as a pet, but especially if you're getting an exotic bird. This video touches briefly on some causes of extinction. In future videos, you will learn ways we are combating extinction, both globally and locally. Until then, we hope you have a wild day.